you've got a great website, traffic is flowing, your products are getting attention and customers are coming in. So things are looking good. But are you GDPR compliant? Now hold on, what even is GDPR? The General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, is a data privacy law that protects users in the EU. It requires websites to be transparent about how they collect and use personal data. So things like showing a cookie banner, having a clear privacy policy, and making sure users give proper consent. For website owners, that means that there are a few legal boxes to check. And let's be honest, the legal stuff can be super confusing and time consuming to figure out. But that's where we come in. At Wanda.com, we have an amazing tool that makes all of this way easier. And that's Termly. Termly helps you automatically generate privacy policies, terms and conditions, and collect consent through a fully customizable cookie banner. All the essentials you need to stay compliant and protect your business. In this video, I'll show you how to use Termly, explore the dashboard, and I will also show you how to add the cookie banner directly in Website Builder. So let's get started. All right, once you log in into your control panel and you are inside the Wanda.com dashboard, all you have to do is scroll down until you see advanced settings. And here you click on Termly. After clicking on Termly, it will take you to your Termly subscription. Here you can see a subscription and you can go ahead and click on go to Termly to access the Termly dashboard. All right, so here's our Termly dashboard. So as you can see, there are a few things here which I will walk you through and I will explain to you. But the first thing we really care about when we log into our Termly dashboard for the first time is this compliance checklist at the bottom right corner. So if we click on it, we see that we have a few steps that we need to follow and complete in order to stay compliant. So for example, we have review your business information, create a privacy policy, and create a terms and conditions and scan your site for cookies. Now we will complete each step together and I will show you how to do it. So let's begin with review your business information. So we click here and we get to the business information page. Here you can put info such as full legal name of the company or organization, email, phone number, fax number, address, country, state, territory or province, zip code or postal code. Now, once you save those details and you go back to your compliance checklist, you will see that the first step is completed. So now we can move on to the second step, which is create a privacy policy. So we click here and we get to the section where we will be able to generate a privacy policy. Now here, as you will see, is where Termly really does its magic. And after we answer a few questions, it will generate a privacy policy for us. So we can go ahead and click on new privacy policy. And here we will have to answer a few questions. Now I recommend you really take the time and answer the questions really well and accurately so that the privacy policy can also be as accurate as possible and as clear as possible. So to ensure that you're fully compliant. So the first question here, for example, is what will this privacy policy be used for? And here we can click website. Then we can save and go on to the next. Then you have to add the URL address of your website. It's already here, so you can click on save and next. Then you can also, for example, select the English spelling you would like to use in your privacy policy. So either American English or British English. In this case, I'll just check British English. Now here, for example, do you want to include a description about your product or service? Here where you could say yes, if in your case that's relevant, I'm gonna say no, and then I go on to the next. Then here we get also a question about user location. So for example, do you have users in the United States? I'm going to say yes, because having a website, you're very likely to get users from all over the world. So it's better to stay fully covered. Uh, in fact, the next question is, do you have users in the EU, UK, Switzerland, and so on? And here I'm gonna say yes as well, because I'm likely to get users from those countries. Same here, it asks me, do you have users in Canada? I'm gonna say yes, because I'm likely to get them. And then I click on save and next. All right, now to save time, I will fast forward through all the questions. But as I mentioned, I really recommend you take the time to answer the questions accurately so that the privacy policy can be very clear, very accurate, and you can be sure to be fully compliant. All right, so we're on to the last question. And here we can also select the effective date for this privacy policy. I'm just gonna stick with the date of today and I'm gonna click on publish. 
Amazing, so now the first thing we notice is that the second step is completed, but most importantly, look at this privacy notice that has been generated with our answers. This is truly incredible. So Termly did all the hard work and all we had to do was give information. So this is really going to save you time and it's really a game changer. All right, but now I want to show you how you can incorporate this privacy policy on your website in Website Builder. So to do that, all you have to do is click on add to website and here we get uh, three options but we can select the html format and here we can go ahead and copy to clipboard this code right here so all we have to do is click on copy to clipboard and the code has been copied so next we can head on to our website builder where we will be able to incorporate it all right so now we're in website builder so what we have to do now is add a new page so we can just click on add new page. We, you could either select a template page or just a blank page. In this case, I will add a blank page. Then you can enter the name of the page. I will say privacy policy, could also be privacy notice, up to you. All right, now our blank page has been created. So in order to incorporate the privacy policy generated on Termly here on Website Builder, all you have to do is click on more then here you can click on code and here is where we will paste our code. Then we click on save and here we have the code box so we can drag it onto the section we want it on. Then we can also expand it. Then if you click on preview, there you have it. Your privacy notice or policy is now incorporated on your website. And this is truly, truly incredible and a game changer. Um, it really saves you a lot of time and it's simply great. All right, but now we can head back to the editor and I really recommend you save your changes so that you don't lose them. And if you would like to publish the privacy policy immediately, you can also click on publish so that your privacy policy will be live on your website. All right, now we're back on Termly because we still have a few steps we need to complete. And the next one is create a terms and conditions. So we can click on it. All right, so here we are on our terms and conditions page. Here it will work exactly as it worked for the privacy policy. So all we have to do is answer a few questions and then it will generate the terms and conditions page for us. And then all we have to do is embed it on our website. So we can go ahead and click on new terms and conditions. And as you can see here, we have a few questions that we will need to answer. Again, I will fast forward through this process to save time, but I do recommend that you really take the time to answer every question accurately and give the proper info so that the terms and conditions can be accurate and clear and you can be compliant. All right, so here we are on the last question. And again, here we can select the effective date for these legal terms. I'll stick to today's date and then I will click on publish. Great, so now here on the checklist, we can see that that's been ticked. And here we have our terms and conditions page. Again, generated by Termly, all we had to do was answer a few questions. So that's really, really amazing and saves a lot of time. As you can see here, the next step would be to embed your terms. And the way you do that is the exact way as we did for the privacy policy. So all we have to do is click on add to website. Then we can copy our code. Then we head onto our website builder where we can embed it. So here we are on our website builder. What we can do is add a new page, just like we did for the privacy policy. I'll pick blank page. We can call it terms and conditions. Now we generated the blank page. So all we have to do is click on more, then code. Then we can paste that code. And here it is, our little box. So we can expand it. Then we can click on preview. And there we have it, our terms and conditions. So now what we can do is go back to editor, click on save to save our progress. Again, if you want it live on your website immediately, you can go ahead and click on publish. Um, but now we can head back to Termly because we have a few things left to do. All right, what's left to do, as you can see here, is to scan your site for cookies. So we can go ahead and click on that. And here we are on the scan your website page. So we can click on scan now. And now it will scan our website for cookies. All right, so the scan is completed as you can see here. 
my website is completely new i just generated yesterday so it doesn't have cookies uh, at the moment um, but once you've scanned it you can also scan it again um, as you can see here there is this button so we can click on scan now and this way it will scanning again and see if there are any new cookies all right so we scanned it again still didn't find any cookies but if you've noticed after we scanned it two more steps have appeared in our checklist so one is install and verify your consent banner and the next one is embed your cookie policy so i can show you right here you can generate a cookie policy right here on this page so if we click on it there we have it that's how simple it is to generate a cookie policy and we have it right here fully generated by tamley so if we want to add it to our website, the steps are the exact same as the ones for the privacy policy and terms and conditions. So you go over here to add to website, copy the code and embed it onto website builder. All right, so now our last step is to install and verify your consent banner. So we click here. All right, so here we are on the consent banner settings and here we can select display style, position and size of our consent banner. And we can also choose the colors so that the consent banner can match our brand style and any color palette we might have. So for example, here we have built-in themes. So here, for example, we can change color of the button there. So here right now we have black selected, but we could pick yellow or red or also blue and so on and so forth. But if you also want a custom theme, you can go ahead and click over here. And here you can select a specific colors, insert your color codes and really customize the cookie banner uh, as you wish. In this case, I will just stick to black and then moving uh, on here. We have, for example, display style, so we could select different styles. So, for example, stretch, as you can see here, the cookie consent banner has stretched or modal and then it's right here in the middle or tooltip. And yeah, I'll stick to stretch banner actually. Then position, we can also select top or bottom. In this case, I'll keep bottom. And then size, we have standard or compact. Yeah, I can go for standard. Amazing, so here is where you can really customize your cookie banner and make it really yours. And then we also have different text settings here. For example, do you currently use or plan to use content personalization on your site? We could say yes, we could say no, depending on our situation and so forth. Um, yeah, so here you have many more settings that you can look at and make sure you really take the time to uh, select the right thing so that everything is accurate and everything reflects uh, what you need. All right, now I want to show you how to incorporate the consent banner into Website Builder. So all we have to do is click on install right here. Then we go over to step two, embed. Then we have to select plain HTML right here. Here we get a code snippet and all we have to do is copy to clipboard and the code is copied. Now we head on to website builder where we can embed the code. All right, so here we are on our home page in website builder. So what we have to do here is click on more then click on code. Now notice here how I need to change the placement of code for the consent banner. So here I select before closing head. Then I paste my code. I save and you will see it right here. Then we can go ahead and preview it. And there we have it. Here is our consent banner embedded into Website Builder. That's how easy it is. All right, now we're back on the Termly dashboard. Before ending this video, I would like to show you one more thing. Um, so if you go over to consent management and then you click on DSAR form, here you have the data subject access request form. Now you can add this form anywhere on your site so that visitors can contact you uh, if they have any questions regarding the handling of their information. And this is a requirement under GDPR, CCPA and other international regulations. And overall, Termly is a really powerful tool that can help you with all the legal stuff that can be super confusing or time consuming to figure out. And as you can see here on the left panel, you have many more options that you can explore 
Today we've looked at some of the most important ones, such as privacy policy, terms and conditions, but they have much more. For example, here we have return policy, so you could add a return policy. Um, and this follows the same steps as the privacy policy and terms and conditions, so it's super intuitive and easy. You also have disclaimer, you have shipping policy, acceptable use policy, and again, it's super intuitive and it will save you a lot of time. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And I will also leave a link to Termly in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.